Okay, so before I start this off, let me be clear. Do not flood my comment section with a bunch of pro-LGBTQ rhetoric because if you even have the urge to do that, all that means is that you don't get it. This post of mine is in no way transphobic or against the LGBT. Throughout this post, if I refer to actor Elliot Page as Ellen Page or she, it is not an indication of disrespect or intolerance, but rather a sign of familiarity. Very similar to when a woman gets married and changes her last name, and then her friends who've known her for decades still call her by her maiden name. They don't do that because they're against her getting married or because they're against her changing her name. At least not for the most part. It's usually an unbroken habit. Elliot Page has gone by Ellen Page a lot longer. So through this video, if I do accidentally call Page the non-preferred pronoun or a former name, I'm not going to stop and apologize for it. I'm simply going to power through and continue on with my point. I'm not saying this isn't important. It's just not why I'm here. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get to the real reason I'm posting this video. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> now that my disclaimer is over with, I want to tell you about one of my favorite Netflix original shows, The Umbrella Academy. I literally like every single thing about this show. I like the people they cast for every single choice. And that's funny coming from me because usually I have an issue with producers and showrunners casting somebody who is canonically white as a person of color. But I have no issue with that in this show. I love Emmy Raver as the rumor. I love that. She does an awesome job. I have no issue with David Castaneda playing the Kraken. In fact, I actually think this works better since the character's name is Diego. I really love Justin Min as the horror, you know, as well as uh, casting. Um, in, in addition to the casting, I just like the story set up as well, too. You know, um, <laughs> I really respect the way Umbrella Academy has shown a balance of staying true to the original works and going in a somewhat different direction to keep audience that are familiar with the comic intrigued. Uh, with that being said, Elliot Page has convinced the producers and the writers to do something that I think is very unprofessional and unfair to the writers, the people she works with, as well as the fans and the audience members. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't already know, spoiler alert, the cisgender female character of Vanya Hargraves, a.k.a. the White Violin, will now be renamed Victor Hargraves, as the character is going to come out as a transgender man. I wonder what or who could have influenced this idea, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said at the beginning of the post, this has nothing to do with anybody's personal choice. This is about artistic integrity. And as an Academy Award nominated actor, I would expect better from Paige. Paige is one of the few child actors who managed to branch into a very successful acting career as an adult. And Paige deserves it because she's extremely talented. I've been watching her since the Hard Candy movie, which I believe she did when she was like 12 or 13. So it's not like she doesn't have the experience or the talent being in this industry at that young of an age. I think this decision, I'm going to go ahead and make a bold statement and say it's lazy and it's something that was done for convenient. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been multiple actors who are heterosexual who have played gay and vice versa. Neil Patrick Harris, openly and happily homosexual, yet was able to play a very convincing heterosexual on How I Met Your Mother. Flip that. Eric Stonestred, I believe is how his name is pronounced, an actor from a modern family, played a very strong gay character, yet has come out as openly heterosexual. 
it feels kind of weird and strange me saying that, but um, <laughs> you can Google that. That's something he himself actually said. He said he is openly heterosexual. He actually said that. But anyway, these aren't exceptions, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Multiple times, actors have portrayed sexualities they weren't. One of the more popular stems from the 2005 movie Brokeback Mountain. Both Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger identified as heterosexual. And before somebody beats me to this, I know this isn't just about Elliot Page's sexuality. As a little over a year ago, Ellen Page came out as transgender and started going by Elliot and even made the uh, body modifications and took hormones. So Elliot Page is a transgender man. Okay, fine. That doesn't mean her character on the show has to be. <laughs> I really enjoyed the evolution of the character of Vanya Hargraves on the show. She went from this soft-spoken, shy girl with no superpowers to this very bold powerhouse. Now, on season one, she was apparently heterosexual, dating the character Leonard Peabody. Season two, her character becomes lesbian and has an affair with the character Sissy Cooper. Another decision I'm sure Paige had a hand in making at the time. However, I, as well as probably the majority of the Umbrella Academy fan base, was fine with this decision because it didn't really affect who the person or the character was. Season one, she was a woman who liked guys. Season two, she was a woman who liked women. So what? That doesn't take away from the story in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, I think the choice in season two really helped drive the story along. However, this decision to turn the character into a transgender male, I see this being very problematic in the storyline. And it gives me a pause for even watching season three in the first place, which I was really excited to get back to after the year hiatus they took off due to the pandemic. Again, this is not a transphobic rant. There have been multiple cisgender heterosexual males who've actually portrayed cisgender heterosexual females in movies and television shows. Eddie Murphy, of course. John Travolta in Hairspray. And a good friend of mine, Marlon Wayans, who played a woman in the movie we did together, Sex Tuplets, and did an extremely good job, too. I'm speaking as both a fan and a writer. I'm speaking as both an audience member and an actor, you know, and a filmmaker myself. I believe this was something that Elliot Page did because Elliot Page could. Being the top billed person on the show, if you go to the producers and the writers and say, yo, here's what we're going to do, they're going to listen to you. I just think it was a bad choice. And it's put a damper on the much anticipated season three of the Umbrella Academy. At least for me, if you disagree with what I'm saying, feel free to comment about it in the section. No problem. I don't like to argue, but I have no problem having a decent conversation. So that's my take on it. Give me yours.